Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for watching today. Day four of the power of habits. And today I'm going to go over um, the part of the book that the author refers to or goes over stuff about habits in society and societal habits. And also, are you um, are your habits were to blame <laughs> are your your are you responsible for your habits or your habits responsible for you and there's very interesting ideas and things that the author uh, talked about but I'm going to go over my my experience on uh, real estate and sales more about just habits in general but but I'm going to go over a little bit about what he was talking about in the book so first about society. I really enjoyed this part uh, of the book because it really reminds us that a lot of our habits are because of what goes on in our communities and our societies and how we are raised, how we uh, are things in, in come to us first, like uh, our, our environment. We're a product our, of our environment and what we do. Um, our habits, you know, just, just how we we work if you and nine to five a lot of people nine just we work nine to five that's what a majority of people are. i know there's people third shift they're sales people realtors as you know we're not nine to five that's definitely not uh, not uh, uh possible <laughs> to be a successful realtor and be nine to five um also it's uh, being a salesperson and being a realtor uh you don't have a boss you don't have someone that just tells you what to do. I'm sorry, I'm going to go off on some tangents here, but it really got my mind thinking. Like an example, when I first became a broker, I thought that very disciplined people would be great. Uh, I thought discipline means habits, and discipline can be moved from different things in life. Example, I've uh, I have a great respect for people that have come from a military background or military uh, um, experience, but I've noticed that sometimes the, the people in the military I say, wow, what discipline? I could never do what they do and have that type of discipline. But sometimes when you provide it to sales, I'm like, wow, if, they, if they're a disciplined person and have those habits of being so disciplined on when they get up, what they do things. But it doesn't always equate to other things in life. Uh, sometimes people need to be, have a schedule and be told what to do and have someone, a boss, watching over them to do what they need to do or a, a, an authoritative figure. And when they get into sales, everything kind of falls apart when they're their own boss and when they're doing something that they're not normally used to doing or doing something that they might not enjoy doing. Uh, so... When I was watching about the, the habits, uh, I really have, have reminded me about all the different agents that I've mentored and coached and kind of learned about them and, and how they their their daily lives, their family lives, what they do a little bit. Again, I don't go into 100% detail, you know, unless everybody opens up to me and I don't, <laughs> I don't uh, you know, badger them for everything that's going on in their life. But a lot of them open up to me about what they're doing. And I could see it's a, habits are formed by your life. And what controls you? Your habits? And that brings us me to the next part is what brings your habits control you or do you control your habits? What's to blame? What's to the blame to where you are today? So, um, and with real estate agents, you have to create new habits. If you've never been in the sales, it's not nine to five. That's almost 24 seven, seven days a week. You have to create new habits, get rid of other habits. So you have to really sit down with yourself and go, what are my habits that I can control uh, easily? And what are my habits that I'm doing now that uh, I can't control as much? The point, and, and the author does a great job in the book of explaining like habits that people can control, people can't. Example that he uses like people that are gamblers, people that have gambling addiction. Anybody with an addiction of any sort, is, it's, it's sort of an addiction, of course, but then there's that fine line or that gray area that could be between an addiction and a habit. 
for all those people that go have a, something that they do all of the time, but uh, don't, it's not it. I'm not addicted to it. Uh, example is like, I got to watch uh, the news every day. I got to watch, uh, I got to spend this much time on this every day. And of course, I think addicts, uh, uh, you refer to addict is something that's negative. Habit is something hopefully positive or not negative <laughs> or just in between. So you got to sit there and decide. And I know this for personally because I feel that I'm a very OCD person about my habits, my schedule, and what I get done, what I want to get done, what I do, what I don't want to do. I'm very specific. And for all my loved ones in my life, I apologize for a lot of that. <laughs> but but it works well in my business life and not all, a lot of time in other parts of my life. So the point that I'm getting at there is that what helps you sell, in my opinion, in my experience, and 28 years in real estate, mentoring agents and seeing success and not success is managing your habits of what you're, you do every day, uh, being aware that some of your habits are not necessities and requirements. Um, example, habits. Some people don't realize, well, every day I make sure, uh, you know, if you have kids, I make sure they get up. I make sure when they get home from school, I make sure they do their homework. And then I make sure that they, they have dinner. Then I make sure that uh, I'm there for, for them to go to bed. And then I make sure that there's, I just use this example, and this could be, you know, uh, you know people look at the, or listen to this comment a lot differently. Is that some people I see, and a lot of times this is a second career, people have families, and I see that they can't manage all of their habits and put in new habits for real estate and to do the work because they're used to the habits of getting up in the morning, taking care of the family. Then when the, the family, the kids get home and then uh, helping with the family, this and helping, you're so loving and caring most people. And when they have a family that they have had the habit of taking care of the family and don't are not able to get the work in there. But when they have a, a, a nine to five job, they cut it off, it's easy. I got to go to work. There's no way for me to do all of this. So when people transfer to a nine to five job to a um, work at home, and a lot of you may be watching this that have had has other jobs and been working at home because of COVID, you can see how your habits like, did I work as much? Did I work more? Did I get this? Uh, did I get um, distracted? Um, so you got to create new habits when you're you're want to take your business to the next level, you want to create new habits. If you're starting out in real estate, if you are um, uh, just want to get better at anything, you have to create new habits. But like I said yesterday, I think it was the day before, I said you're, you're still filling up your day. So a lot of your day, you're going to get have to get rid of things and give up a habit, give up something that you're doing consistently all of the time. And, and you might have to delegate because a habit might be something that someone else needs to do. If you have a habit of you're in charge of making sure dinner is ready every day or you're in charge of making sure the, the kids get the practice or you're in charge of making sure the, the lawn is mowed every week or you're, you're in charge, you have a habit of something that you have to do, you might have to delegate that to someone else so you can put a new habit in there. So I, I totally believe and, and understand and can see where the author comes up with their point. Um, are we responsible for our habits? Are our habits responsible for us? And I think it's a combination of both. There's things in, in our days and our lives that we just don't want to give up, that we're just ingrained in us as, as our like society, as in our community and what we love and how we were raised. And we've it's, things that we're just going to do and we're not going to give up those habits or those duties or those things that we do. But you got to think of all those other things that uh, you can give up and place those in with new habits or not do them as often or prioritize those and organize them. You got to organize them. And the best thing it could possibly happen and it happens with all successful agents just like any other habit 
it just becomes muscle memory. You're going to wake up every morning and go, okay, I'm just, you don't even have to look at your schedule. I'm at, at eight o'clock, 10 o'clock, I'm going to start making some calls and I, I log into my CRM and I start making my calls or, or you have a system, great CRM system that you log into, go, I got to make five phone calls, three emails, 10 text messages. I got to follow up with uh, these five deals that are pending right now, got inspections and you got that all organized and you have a habit of every day, got to check my schedule and boom, boom, boom. I, I got to get these things done before this time or that time or all of that. So it all comes down to habits. Anything in life that you're successful at, do well at, it will become a habit. It's not going to be stressful to, and spend time, keep on thinking of when you have to do these things. It just, just happens. And that's what happens to those successful agents. The calls just happen. You just do them. You you network. You you, you have a habit of uh, joining new groups and, and wanting to get involved in your community and getting getting uh, the name and passing out your cards and getting your name out there. It just becomes habit of that you want to do things, but you've got to find the time to at least start those habits. Just like, example, if you want to lose weight, you've got to start a new habit. Go to the gym every morning. Go uh, uh, ride the bike. Take a walk. you got to get in the habit of, okay, I'm not going to eat junk food at night. I'm not going to snack. Oh, i got to prepare meals and start a new habit of preparing meals and eating the right things. So you gotta do the same thing, and then it just becomes a habit if you do it enough times. Same with real estate, same with sales, same with prospecting, same with work. And and find those habits, and I'll leave you today with this front. Find the habits that are easiest for you to start so you get some sense of, of uh, accomplishment, of like, wow, I got, a, I got a new habit. Every day I'm making a, spending an hour making phone calls, or. Uh, or networking with people or reaching out to people, uh, prospecting. Start with a little bit of, of success there. Try to get rid of some, find the time, get rid of some habits that are easily controlled by you that are just you. Not your, You don't have to worry about anybody else. Like example I was using, it's like, okay, I'm going to give up cooking dinner for everybody. Everybody's got to find their own dinner every night. That, that's hard. That's a hard habit to break because you got other people that are going to rely on you that, have, that that might change that habit. So find something that's just you. That If you give it up, no one will know. Only you. Won't affect anybody else's life. And then you'll have those small successes of, yes, I gave that up. Yes. I started a new habit. Yes. So anything that doesn't involve other people or affect their lives first. And then you kind of work on the harder ones that are a little bit more difficult for you. So hope that helps a little bit, but there's a lot of great stories in this book. And I didn't really, I wanted to give you more. I didn't want to just uh, kind of regurgitate the stories from the book that you could read on your own. I wanted to give you my interpretation of how to use some of this and put this into your day, daily lives and help you succeed as salespeople and as, as realtors. So hope that helps you a little bit. Tomorrow, the last day, kind of a summary of everything. And, uh, and give you a, a, just a brief overview of the, the whole book in general. So that's it for today. Have a wonderful Thursday, and we'll see you tomorrow at 11. Bye-bye.